NASA got a huge Christmas gift this morning when it successfully launched its most powerful space telescope ever. Heavens and star. And liftoff. Decollage. Decollage liftoff from a tropical rainforest to the edge of time itself. James Webb begins a voyage back to the birth of the universe. The launch of the James Webb telescope was more than 20 years in the making, involving thousands of scientists, multiple countries, and it will likely change the way we see the universe. The James Webb telescope is one of the most significant recent breakthroughs of NASA and collaborating space agencies. It was launched on 25th December 2021 to overcome the shortcomings of the Hubble telescope. The James Webb Telescope is about 100 times more powerful than its predecessor and can look far beyond what the Hubble Telescope ever could. Furthermore, the new telescope primarily focuses on infrared lights that originate from redshifts in distant objects. And because of its sheer power and capabilities to look far beyond, the telescope has made astonishing discoveries in a very short time. Some critical discoveries of the James Webb Telescope include 44 previously unknown galaxies, the Southern Ring Nebula, Stephen's Quintet, and an atmosphere analysis that found evidence of water in a star that is 1120 light years from Earth. Another important discovery by the James Webb Telescope was the Schrödinger Galaxy, which could change our understanding of the universe. You can watch our detailed video on the topic by clicking on the link in the description. The $10 billion investment seems to be paying off, but some recent hiccups have raised questions about the performance and the telescope. The James Webb Telescope stopped functioning recently, which was quite concerning considering it was launched not very long ago. So, what really happened? Why did James Webb Telescope stop function? And was it an isolated incident? Stay with us to find out everything about it. On the 20th of September 2022, NASA announced that it had detected problems with the James Webb Telescope and had consequently paused the observation. In a blog post, NASA described that James Webb's mid-infrared instrument has four observation modes. On August 24, one of these modes, known as medium-resolution spectroscopy, was subjected to increased friction during observation, and as a result, it stopped functioning. We have all seen spectacular photos captured by the James Webb telescope, but not many know what it takes to get the photos in the first place. The telescope uses multiple modes to draw information from multiple wavelengths. The information obtained from different modes is compiled and reconstructed to form an image that tells us what is happening beyond our solar system. Thus, if either of these modes runs into an error, the capability of the telescope to look beyond the Milky Way is significantly impacted. It does not mean that the telescope has stopped functioning altogether. It is just that a certain mode is not available to the scientists for observation. The statement released by NASA said, the web team is paused in scheduling observations using this particular mode while they continue to analyze its behavior. The observatory is in good health and Myra's other three observing modes, imagining low-resolution spectroscopy and coronagraphy are operating normally and remain available for science observations. While problems with space equipment are not uncommon, the system that went down is the most sophisticated mode of the telescope. Hence, when NASA announced it had run into some error, it made it to the headlines. This mode allows the scientists to observe wavelengths of their choice. Scientists can narrow down on wavelength with what is known as a grading wheel mechanism to view the object at different wavelengths. Astronomers can pick between long, medium, and short wavelengths while observing using the telescope. Essentially, one of the core features which has been critical in the discoveries that the telescope has made to date went down. Thus, the scientific community was rightly worried but NASA quickly assembled a team to look for a solution. After months-long investigations, NASA revealed that the problem was caused by increased contact forces between the wheel's central bearing assembly's subcomponents under certain conditions. In simple words, the friction between the wheel and its grade increased, which disturbed the cameras and hence made the mode dysfunctional. The silver lining was while the issue was related to hardware, it could be fixed remotely from the Earth. Right now, the James Webb Telescope is about a million miles away from Earth, but the actual destination of the telescope is about 1.5 million miles away. To put things in perspective, the Hubble Telescope is just 332 miles away from Earth. 
So if it had encountered a problem that could not have been dealt with remotely, the core feature of the telescope would have rendered it completely useless. So the fact that NASA could handle the problem remotely is in itself quite a big deal. While NASA was fixing the problem, it also worked on creating new rules and regulations for the remote application of the mode. It came up with new operational rules and was able to get the cameras back online on November 2, 2022. The recent problem with the James Webb Telescope is not the first and would not be the last as well. It experienced several problems before this incident, and some were far more severe than the ones we discussed. A blog on the NASA website revealed that a micrometeoroid struck the telescope sometime between May 23 and May 25. Even though the telescope has encountered similar incidents earlier, this particular micrometeoroid was bigger than expected. Hence, the impact on the mirror segment was also significant and left sustainable damage. Although the mirror is working despite the impact, astronomers have noticed a noticeable decline in its performance. With Webb's mirrors exposed to space, we expected that occasional micrometeoroids impacts would gracefully degrade telescope performance over time. Since launch, we have had four smaller measurable micrometeoroid strikes that were consistent with expectations, and this one more recently that is larger than our degradation prediction assumed," Lee Feinberg, the manager of Webb's optical telescope elements. Another frightening problem was reported on 21 July 2022 when astronomers lost all sorts of contact with the James Webb telescope. The telescope orbits the Sun and right now is about a million miles away from Earth. However, NASA developed an operation to deploy the telescope at a distance of 2 million miles away from Earth. But the telescope did not react as the scientists had anticipated. NASA admitted that the engineers lost contact with the telescope, making them very scared. And the engineers and astronomers were not completely wrong when they assumed the worst. James Webb Telescope has a tennis court-sized sunscreen that protects the photosensitive material from the sunlight. When the telescope did not transmit any signals, it was assumed that sunscreen was not completely deployed, and thus the photosensitive components of the telescope had been damaged. It would have put the entire $10 billion mission at risk. The engineers tried to restart the sunscreen deployment, but it did not work. To make matters worse, the sensors that transmit the information about the position of sunscreen were not responding as well. The flight control manager told a news outlet that there was deathly silence in the room following the incident. However, after some time, while the telescope was still not responding, the engineers received data from one of the sensors on it. It provided information about the internal temperature, which allowed the engineers to sigh a breath of relief. The telescope's temperature was ultra-low, meaning the sunscreen had been completely deployed. After some time, the telescope also started to respond. Problems with space equipment are not uncommon. Even the first moon landing was not spared from them as Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin had to overcome unexpected problems like a lumpy lunar gravitational force. Sometimes, even when everything looks perfect on paper, it still encounters problems. It is because, despite all the innovations, we are yet to discover and understand a major part of our universe. So scientists cannot design a solution for a problem that has not yet been discovered. James Webb Telescope will also experience these problems and ultimately retire to become space debris. The expected life of the telescope is about 5 to 10 years. But hopefully, by then, the telescope will provide us with much more information than we already know. Despite the hiccups, it is still functional and observing distant galaxies. Let's hope it continues to do that and give us more information to better understand the universe. We hope this video was fun and informative. Stay connected with us to learn more about Space Agency's astonishing space discoveries and missions. We will see you at the next one.